It's Oscar, how you doing? So I'm back here with another shave of the day and another scent of the day and a giveaway. So, um, by the way, I Michael and I did the, the winners for the Aventus um, giveaway last week and I still haven't heard from the winners. So Dennis O'Drain and Pardeep Singh. Dennis O'Drain, Pardeep Singh. You guys gotta get a hold of me on my email that I attached to the last video. I'll attach it again here. And if I don't hear from you, you're not going to get it. So, I mean, I don't know what, what to do. I did find Den uh, Dennis O'Drain with some mutual friends on Facebook, which I, I assume they're mutual friends because of the communities, the, the shaving community, the fragrance community. Even shot him a, a, in a private message, still haven't heard back. So, Dennis O'Drain, Pardeep Singh, get back to me for your Aventus. Now, this one, the shave of the day was this. It was basically what I called my America shave. Um... I finally unpacked all my shave gear. I, if you saw my video with my uh, shelf unit, I got it still. I might have to make another one because I have too much stuff. But um, so I found some stuff that I had been looking for. So first thing I used was um, the soap was American Barber by Razor Rock. Now this is the first label. If I'm not mistaken, I know he has a new label for the American Barber, and this is. I think I think it had to do with some kind of um, trademark things going on or something because there's a new label now. This it's called American Barber. This is a an awesome just barbershop scent. If you've been in the in the shaving hobby for a little while, you know what the barbershop scent is, and and what it consists of for the most part. There's a lot of variations from it that people have done, but this is a basic barbershop scent, and he says um, that he styled it on. Um, even on the website, I remember when this first came out, I read the product description and he says that he models it after Reeve Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent, um, which apparently is, um, the quintessential barbershop scent as well. Now this, it, it has a different label now, but this is an awesome, awesome soap. I'm so glad I found it and I followed it up with, um, hold on. Oh, here it is. Sorry about that. Bam. The America um, aftershave from Uncle John. Uncle John Conley. So you see, you see that picture with the beard? If you've ever seen Uncle John, you know that's him. That is him to the T. So this is a killer barbershop scent as well. I had um, the small soap puck that went with this somewhere and it just probably got lost in the move. But um, this was a killer match. Barbershop. Barbershop. And then, this is the razor I used. This is a Gillette Tech, actually the travel razor. I picked this up in an antique shop in a small coastal town up past Santa Barbara called Cambria. Um, we had gone up there for a little vacation and um, went into this antique shop. And it was, you know, it was just in there. And it was, you know, old. It had some patina and some rust and stuff. So I had this redone. I sent this to Scott Ferguson at North Shore Razors and I wanted him to I asked him to do the red white and blue it is a typical three-piece razor very mild very much on the mild side but um, it does the trick really really well so the reason I had him do this was because I wanted a razor to go along with this this is a Karloff shaped brush by uh, Rob Phillips at local gen shaving he has kind of the marbling effect in there, the red and the white, with um, the blue, I think they call this a lapis lazuli color, and then the engraving of the, of the logo. That is a um, game changer synthetic knot. Now this one, um, I got this before I was really, really into synthetic knots. I didn't, I, it's just a standard loft I guess, but what I get is I, I almost get a little too much backbone and a little too much spring back. Um, so the loft is a little high for me, but you know, but it does the trick. I really like it. So I got this first, then I got, I asked Scott to do this and keeping with the theme of the shave, did this, followed up with this. Now what I'm thinking, like I said, I think they changed the label, do the trademark because, um, Barbasol, well, let me backtrack a little bit. If you know a little bit of the story with Douglas and Phoenix, um, Phoenix Artisan Accoutrement, he had, this came out, okay? 
This was called Barber Pole. Okay, one of the earlier formulas, Synergy 2.0. Now I might I might be mistaken in the order of this, but he actually um, what I believe what I what I remember hearing anyway is he had he actually had one called Barber Soul S O U L Barber Soul, which he he kind of um, inspired the scent after the Barbasol line of shaving products, the creams and you know because that's a classic um, barbershop shaving scent. So I think he went Barber Soul, then he changed it to Barber Pole. But then, then he went, then what followed was CAD, the CAD, because he had gotten the cease and desist, the CAD, the cease and desist letters from Barber Soul and whoever their parent company is. So Barber Soul became Barber Pole, became CAD, and I believe that that is all kind of inspired by Reeve Gosh, by Yves Saint Laurent. This is going to be this time's giveaway. All right, so this is a, the 2.5. Um, this is a 2.5 ounce. They came in a four point in a four ounce, but this is actually discontinued. They don't make this anymore. When I first um, when I first got wind that this was coming out, I, I said I'm gonna try. He mentioned Reeve Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent in the in his product description. So I looked for Yves Saint Laurent and found out it was about to be discontinued. So I got what I could. Um, even on eBay, I mean, they must have known this was gonna be discontinued because even on eBay, the 2.5 ounce was almost 50 bucks. So um, if you can find this, there's another one that comes in a small square kind of cubicle bottle. It's a reformulation, I think, or it's different, but this is the one. This, if when I was getting into fragrances and I, I was looking at some product reviews, and a lot of people will, will do their, you know, top 10 spring scents or top 10 citruses or whatever. I saw a few ranking lists that said their favorite barbershop scents, and no fail, this one was always in their top five, if, it, if not the top one. There was a few, I can't even think off the top of my head, who they were but there was more than one where I saw this one as the one of their favorites if not their favorite barbershop scent so I have some here this is going to be the giveaway I know it's kind of a jump from the niche from the super high-end Aventus and the other stuff I've been doing but the fact that this is a barbershop it's a favorite barbershop and it's discontinued um, that's why I'm gonna do the giveaway with this so if you're interested and if you're aware you, you've participated before just say I'm in um, and uh, you know maybe let me know what your favorite barbershop scent is if you've ever smelled you know as far as maybe software or even fragrances if you're not a wet shaver then just your fragrance fragrances your favorite barbershop inspired kind of stuff that makes you think of being in the barbershop maybe it's an old-school one that reminds you of your dad or your grandpa or your favorite uncle or whatever so you know, uh, uh, you know, just say I'm in. Um, if you want to comment and let me know what your favorite barbershop is, let me know. And then, um, you know, in a few days or a week or so, Michael and I will, will as always, do some, um, you know, pull the names. So, again, um, it's not super high end, but it is hard to find. I guarantee you that. It is discontinued. Um, and that will be the giveaway. So, I will draw two winners. They will each get a three milliliter um, sample of Rive Gauche by Yves Saint Laurent and um we'll go from there all right so thank you for watching again i know i rambled on i don't have a script i don't have notes i just kind of go and um any other comments you have on the other software or hardware that i used um let me know all right so thanks for watching and um i'll see you again soon bye